How would you like to go to the edge of space for a fraction of the cost of riding in a rocket? I'm senior reporter Roland Barris for Idaho News 6, and an Idaho man is doing just that in a helium balloon of all things. No rockets, no explosive fuel, just a steady ride into the stratosphere that lasts a lot longer and costs a lot less. When most people think of taking a balloon ride, this is what they envision. I just love the serenity of the balloons. And, um, I just like to go up and let people experience something new. And it's on everybody's bucket list. But some bucket lists are bigger than others. Beautiful scenery, but I think I'll be overcome by the, the beauty of being in space, sunrise, the curvature of the earth. So I think it'll just be, you know, an emotional experience beyond that on a traditional balloon. Doug Dvorak from Idaho is a self-proclaimed thrill seeker who has bought a $50,000 ticket to go to the edge of space on a balloon operated by a company called Worldview. Do you have to wear um, a spacesuit? No. Nope. We're in a pressurized capsule and no spacesuit. The capsule hangs beneath a giant gas-filled balloon that will take eight passengers to over 100,000 feet, an area considered near space. So you won't be floating around up there, per se. I will not be floating around weightless. But you get to spend a lot more time up there. Absolutely. I think it's less than three minutes that Bezos and Musk spent weightless. Wow. Yeah, I, my record's 14,000 feet, and that was high enough, so... And since it takes longer to get to the stratosphere, there are more amenities in the capsule than in your typical balloon basket. It even has snacks on board and a bathroom. I wish wow. I could have it. <laughs> Dvorak is hoping to go up in the summer of 2025, and he knows there's always an element of risk. The risks are that there could be a, a, a malfunction on the balloon, the capsule. There's double and triple redundant safety systems, but there's always that risk. But he says nothing risked, nothing gained. And even hot air balloonists are hoping that it all goes well. Yeah, I mean, what do you think this could do for ballooning? If it's successful, it'll our phone will ring off the hook and everybody will be busy. The $50,000 price tag lets you gaze on a view of the curvature of the Earth for anywhere from two to four hours, if you can imagine that, before the 90-minute descent slowly to Earth. In Nampa, I'm senior reporter Roland Barris, Idaho News 6.